pretty nice forecast if you like the warmer weather that is. So we're going to show you exactly how warm it's going to get right now. Very mild outside. A few people out and about on the pier. 50s out there. Dry conditions and mostly clear tonight. We're expecting plenty of sunshine as we head into tomorrow as a result. As we zoom out a little bit though, just want to show you we do have rain and snow sitting to our north. So the big question is, will it make its way here at this point? Doesn't look like it will. It looks like it'll stay north of Point Conception and we're expecting a dry forecast could get a couple degrees cooler through the middle part of the week and then things start to change. So clear to partly cloudy for now. Clear tonight, maybe a little bit of low cloud cover moving in over the next couple of days. Below average temperatures, generally a few spots right at average. Then as we head into Thursday, high pressure is going to start to build just in time for Thanksgiving and we are expecting a pretty significant warm up on tap. So a sunny and warm Thanksgiving and very warm, dry and maybe even windy conditions lasting holiday weekend. We're going to break down all those numbers and those conditions for you coming up in just a little bit. Rick and Sharon, back to you. I wonder why they couldn't put the emergency doors in or well, the smoke detectors. Hmm. That's a question we need to ask. Yeah. Okay. You know what? The question I need to ask is yeah. you'd mentioned that you were going to lay out by the pool yes, and it was warm on Thanksgiving enough. Day. Thanksgiving. What better way to do it, California and style? <laughs> yeah. Evelyn said that you California could that you could do too, it, right? You're saying it, it's possible that. <laughs> Not sorry. Gangnam style. Never mind. I was just talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rick was one. saying that oh, yes, thing. Sharon is laying out by the pool. And you said she could actually pull that yeah. off on Thanksgiving. Exactly. Because because it's going to be warm. Really warm, pool nice. weather warm, beach weather warm. Wow. So it's it's really going to be a California Thanksgiving. Yes. <laughs> so there we go. Sorry, Rick. What were you Sorry. saying? Sorry. I was. Huh? I'll go back to having okay. a conversation gotcha. with myself. Never mind that. All right. Well, I'll take it from here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and Sherrod, you know, go for it on Thursday. And all of you, if you want to do anything outdoors on Thursday clear to partly cloudy clear for now there's gonna be a little bit of rain tar north it won't really affect our forecast but we will see cloudier conditions and a bit of fog redeveloping at the coast into the overnight morning hours but that's not until about Tuesday tomorrow night and your Wednesday below average temperatures high pressure building Thursday through Sunday and a sunny and warm Thanksgiving earlier today we were just a little below average made it to 70 but still a nice day nonetheless and over the next 24 hours 50s more 50s and by the afternoon we're at 72 degrees which technically is right at average. Riverside 76, Irvine 73, and Oxnard a little cooler at 68 degrees. As we take you through your five day forecast for the valleys in the Inland Empire 70s, and as we head into Thursday into your Thanksgiving, we're warming up, expecting offshore conditions Friday into your Saturday. Same thing for the basin, and same thing goes for the beaches. 60s turning to 70s, beach weather by the weekend. Rick and Sharon, back to you. Wow, the warm weather will be last, mm -hmm. will be with us. Well, we've got a ways to go. Take a look right here. Nice conditions out on the pier, very clear, and we're expecting sunny and warm conditions as a result tomorrow. Few people out and about. Temperatures a little cooler tonight. When we see clear conditions, generally that means cooler conditions. Usually the cloud cover insulates us in the overnight hours and traps in the heat that we get in during the day, but when it's clear, it gives us a chance to escape into the atmosphere. So that's what's happening right now. 55 right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City, mostly clear on radar zooming out a little bit just to show you the big picture we like to do that and we're showing you just to our north we are dealing with rain and snow in the Pacific Northwest in the northern portion of the state but doesn't look like it's going to make its way into our forecast it'll probably stop short just around Point Conception but as a result it could get a little cooler and just a little cloudier as we head toward Tuesday and Wednesday but as we head into Thursday Thursday being Thanksgiving into Friday Saturday and your Sunday expecting high pressure to build in we're going to see offshore winds possibly even windy conditions through passes, canyons, and the mountains, the deserts as well. So that's something we will be tracking, those offshore conditions through the weekend. We're also tracking a very sunny and very warm Thanksgiving. We'll show you exactly how warm in a little bit, but you'll see earlier today we made it to 70 degrees. That was for downtown. Average is 72, so we were a little below average for this time of year, and record numbers 92. Didn't get anywhere too close to that. Tonight we're getting down to the 50s. Clear skies, calm winds in the morning hours, and nights clear start, 50s in the morning, and by the afternoon, 70s. We're right at average at 72 degrees. Warm with calm conditions. We're going to show you what it looks like a little later in the week. And of course, Thanksgiving, that's all coming up in just a bit. Back to you. Uh, go out on the patio. That would be nice. You can eat at the pool. That would be Sharon nice. Sharon was maybe Ooh. considering, I don't know about eating at the pool, but you were considering laying by the pool, right? Yeah. It's going to be that nice out. You could consider going to the beach. You could consider a lot of things. A barbecue. How about uh, barbecuing your turkey outside? Would that work? Has anyone ever tried doing that? Not I, sure. I know people who have, yeah. Really? 
Yeah. That's a great idea. That would be really delicious. I've heard actually. of deep fried too. Deep, deep fried. Fry their turkeys. Yep. Yeah. I've heard of deep fried. So it, it could be a good year to barbecue your turkey outside, though. It's going to be that nice. We'll tell you exactly how nice it's going to be coming up in just a minute. But first, we're taking you to radar where it's mostly clear outside this evening. And as we get a look at the big picture, there is rain to our north, but it shouldn't be affecting our forecast. Getting close, but maybe just showing us a little bit of cloud cover. And that's pretty much it. We're looking at a very dry weekend store 70 that was earlier today in downtown average is 72 and tomorrow we're getting to 72 that's for the base and you'll see downtown Burbank at 72 Riverside 76 Irvine 73 Lancaster 68 and Oxnard also getting up to about 68 degrees. So there's that rain we pointed out again, not really having a bearing on our forecast, but we could see a little bit of a cool down and a little more cloud cover and fog as we move toward the middle part of the week. But then as we head toward the later part of the week, mainly Thanksgiving and the weekend, high pressure is going to start to build over Southern California. We're going to see that clockwise rotation that's associated with high pressure and that's going to generate offshore winds. What happens when we see those offshore winds? Well, they blow from land to sea. They push all the cloud cover out of the forecast, keep things sunny, warm, dry and clear and yes wind is also a factor we're expecting offshore winds especially in the higher elevations and through passes and canyons as we head toward the weekend as well above average temperatures later in the week until then a little below and near average in some spots in terms of cloud cover we're running you through future cast except for seven o'clock tomorrow morning mostly clear but this model showing us just a little bit of cloud cover out there in the morning hours. Not really a factor by the 11 o'clock hour, by 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Nice and clear for the majority of Southern California and keeping things that way through the late afternoon and the early evening hours. Maybe a little bit of fog, but nothing major, even keeping it nice and clear by 7 o'clock. We could see some overnight morning low clouds and fog late Tuesday into your Wednesday. Remember, there is a chance of rain to our north, and that could affect our forecast cloud wise, but certainly not rain wise. By your Thursday, we're up in the 70s and by Friday and Saturday, we are up into the 80s for the beaches, 60s turning to 70s and finally checking in with the deserts, 60s by Thanksgiving, flirting with the 70s and getting there by Friday and Saturday. Rick and Sharon, back to you. And pretty nicely, it's a short work week. We've got a warm Thanksgiving on the way and an even warmer Black Friday on the way as well. So camping out might not be too tough this year. <laughs> We're going to take you outside right now, and as we do. We're taking you to our Mount Wilson camera, and you're looking at mostly clear conditions, minimal cloud cover out there, just a little bit of it, but for the most part, clear and cool tonight. We're at 55 degrees, and that's right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. As we get a look at the big picture, you're going to see rain and a little bit of snow sitting to our north. Not a whole lot of rain making its way into the forecast. In fact, looks like we're not going to see much of it at all. It's probably going to stop at Point Conception. As a result, might be a little cooler and it might be just a little cloudier here at home, but we are keeping things dry and we're eventually warming them up pretty nicely. 70, that was the high earlier today in downtown. Average is 72 and record number is 92, so we didn't get anywhere too close to that. We're a little below average today and by tomorrow we'll be right at average for downtown. Burbank also at 72, Riverside 76, Irvine 73, and Lancaster 68 degrees. So again, a little bit of rain to our north, not really affecting us at this point, just a little cooler and cloudier as we head toward the middle part of the week. But as we head toward your Thanksgiving and as we head toward the weekend, high pressure is going to start to build over Southern California rather and that clockwise rotation around the high prompting offshore winds, prompting clear conditions, very warm and windy as well. So we'll be talking about all those numbers in your extended forecast coming up in just a little bit. Lena and Sylvia back to you. It. And uh, Thanksgiving is around the corner, so we're probably getting excited for that. We've got a gorgeous Thanksgiving on our hands. It's, uh, we've been calling it California style Thanksgiving. You'll see what we're talking about in a minute. But first, we're taking you outside to Long Beach. And as we do, it's mostly clear out there. It's cool. We're at 55 degrees right here at the Broadcast Center of Studio City. So let's get a look at our forecast. We're actually zooming out a little bit to show you clear conditions here in Southern California to our north. There is rain, nothing moving into our forecast, but we could see a cooler and cloudier forecast over the next couple of days, and then things start to change again as we head toward the later part of the week. As we take you to numbers earlier today, you're going to see 70. That was the high in downtown. Average is 72, so we were 
below average for this time of year, but by tomorrow we're going to be right at average. We're actually expecting to get right to 72 degrees and that'll be for downtown 50s tonight and a sunny start with 50s in the morning hours and by the afternoon we are up to about 72 degrees. You'll see right here Riverside 76, Irvine 73, Lancaster 68 and Oxnard getting up to about 68 degrees as well. Let's get right to that five day forecast. We've been talking about Thanksgiving and here it is your five day forecast for the basin in Orange County showing you 70s turning to 60s back up to the 70s and then the 80s by the time we head into your Friday and by the time we head into your Saturday for the coast upper 60s turning to 70s just in time for Thanksgiving and then warming up even more so as we head toward the weekend. We've got high pressure building on Thursday bringing in warmer temperatures for the weekend. Also windy conditions especially in the higher elevations like the mountains 50s all week with 60s by Saturday in the mountains. Sylvia back to you. All right, Ev. And we're expecting a major warm up in the forecast. We'll have that forecast along with the Thanksgiving forecast all coming up after the break. I love stories like that during the holidays. I right? yeah. 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 We were in the mood and then now yeah. it's going to like get warm and, <laughs> and you know, right. for Thanksgiving, right? Yeah. Even better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about, oh, it feels like fall and Thanksgiving yeah. weather and holiday weather. And we're not going to have any of that, but <laughs> right. we're going to have Thanksgiving. That's all that counts, right? That's In right. shorts, yeah. t-shirts. Shorts, t-shirts, yeah. <laughs> bathing suits, flip-flops, all of that jazz as we head to the next few days. So we'll tell you exactly how warm it's going to get and what we can expect until then. So that's all coming up in a minute. We do want to see the next few days. That's when temperatures are eventually going to start to warm up. Radar showing you mostly clear conditions out there as we speak and to look at the bigger picture. Rain sitting to our north, not affecting our forecast rain wise, but we could potentially maybe just see a little bit of cloud cover and cooler temperatures as we head into the next couple of days, but that's all about to change later in the week. Earlier today we made it to 70 average is 72, so we were a couple degrees below average for this time of year and over the next 24 hours we're going to be right at average for the basin 50s more 50s in the morning hours and by the afternoon we are up to 72 degrees under pretty pleasant conditions. Riverside 76 tomorrow, Irvine 73, Lancaster 68, and Oxnard getting up to 68 degrees as we head to tomorrow afternoon. So your forecast calling for high pressure eventually as we move toward the end of the week, mainly Thanksgiving the day after, and our weekend. We're expecting warm but windy conditions. High pressure is going to build over Southern California as it does. We'll see those offshore winds develop and that's generally associated with high pressure. We see that clockwise rotation of the winds around the high, and that's what we're seeing right here. Generating offshore winds. What's going to happen there? Well, the wind is going to push any cloud cover from land to sea. So we'll see clear conditions, warm conditions, and on top of that, maybe even windy conditions, especially in the higher elevations. Until then, expecting mostly clear conditions, and we are expecting maybe a little bit of cloud cover as we head to tomorrow night and your Wednesday. And then as we we head into Thursday. We're warming up more sunshine by your Friday and keeping things offshore and warm by your Saturday. One more five day forecast for you for the coast. Upper 60s turning to 70s to mid 70s by the weekend under partly sunny skies for Thanksgiving with more sunshine by the rest of the weekend. Lena and Sylvia back to you. And we're expecting some changes in the forecast as we head towards your Thanksgiving. We'll have all the details coming up. Gorgeous. It's going to be a very warm Thanksgiving. We'll show you exactly how warm in just a minute. But we're taking you outside to the Santa Monica Pier tonight. A couple people out and about braving the chilly temperatures out there. It's not too bad. We're in the 50s, 55 degrees. That's right here at the Broadcast Center in Studio City. So radar showing us mostly clear conditions. As we get a look at the big picture, you're going to see rain and snow sitting to our north. The question is, will it make it here to Southern California? And the answer, no, most likely not. We're looking at cooler, maybe cloudier conditions toward your Wednesday but very minimal. We're not going to see a whole lot from this. We will see a warm up though later in the week as high pressure builds into the forecast on your Thanksgiving through the weekend. We're expecting sunny and warm conditions. We'll show you exactly how warm coming up in just a minute. You'll see earlier today we made it to 70. That was for downtown average is 72, so we were below average by tomorrow. We will be right at average for downtown 53 overnight. Calm conditions out there. A sunny start in the morning hours and by the afternoon we're up to 72 degrees warm temperatures calm conditions. We're in the 70s pretty much across the board with the exception of the high desert where it's 68 Oxnard 68 degrees as well. And there's a few spots of course a little cooler the mountains in the high desert as well. So for the basin in Orange County 70s turning to 60s turning back up to the 70s by your Thanksgiving in the 
80s by the weekend, well above average by the time we get there. For the coast, upper 60s turning to 70s. By your Friday, we're talking 70s. By your Saturday, looks like we've got a beach day on our hands. We're at about 76 degrees for the coast. Then, as we head toward the valleys in the Inland Empire, 70s, mid to upper 70s. By your Thanksgiving, by Friday and Saturday, we're up into the 80s, expecting offshore conditions. What does that mean? We'll see clear conditions and dry conditions as those offshore winds kick in. For the deserts, 60s eventually turning to 70s by the time we head into the weekend and finally checking in with the mountains. We're in the 50s by Saturday, eventually getting to the 60s under warmer temperatures, sunny skies as well. Very pleasant by your Thursday. Do want to mention though, as high pressure builds and we see those offshore winds, we could see pretty gusty conditions in the mountains as we head toward your Friday and Saturday. Not as hot up there, but remember in the basin, the valleys, the coast, we're talking 70s and 80s. Rick and Sharon, back to you.